Greetings, folks. Charles McNamara here with some local security news in New York. A news article from the city of New York states, transit officials bet the expanded presence of private security personnel will deter gate jumpers. The MTA has doubled the ranks of private security guards posted near subway station emergency exits that officials call the superhighway of fare evasion. A private security worker keeps watch over the turnstiles at the number one train South Ferry Station on August 8, 2024. MTA chairperson and CEO Jano Lieber has said complaints from regular riders about fare beating hit him hardest. The private guards, contracted through the security firm Allied Universal, are rotated strategically among stations, an MTA spokesperson said. While the NYPD has also increased the number of officers in stations and on platforms in recent years, boosting the number of summonses and arrests for fare evasion data show, the new unarmed station guards lack law enforcement authority. Instead, the blue-shirted gate guards and safety vests stand near emergency exits. If we weren't here, there would be someone standing here literally where I am next to the gate, just allowing people to come in said a security guard at the 3rd Avenue 149 Thief Street station, who asked to not have his name published. Among the new subway strategies are design changes to 1,400 turnstiles at 100 stations that prevent people from pulling the devices in the reverse direction and slide through without paying, delaying opening of some emergency gates by 15 seconds, and bringing in additional security guards. MTA chairperson and CEO Jano Lieber has said, The people that I hear from the most, that make the most impact on me, are people of limited means who are frustrated when they see somebody else push by them without paying on the bus or push in through an exit gate in the subway, he said after the agency's July board meeting. We owe it to those people who live their lives playing by the rules not to make them feel like suckers. We would love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think private security guards will help deter some of these issues with fair evasion? Do private guards help the public sector? Do they also become a target of violence if they step in? Do these security guards get special training or equipment to do their jobs? We would love to hear from you on this topic, so comment below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.